because the children of Israel at the time had gone astray from the straight path of God, Allah sent them their final prophet, Jesus Christ, to remind them that this is their last chance to fulfill God's commandments. When Jesus Christ continued to preach God's message, commanding them to do certain things and to avoid certain things, instead of believing Him and following Him, they got frustrated by Him, turning their backs on Him and rejecting Him, plotting against Him. According to the New Testament, a group of hypocritical and self-serving men of the children of the Israelites began plotting against Prophet Jesus. They complained to the Roman authorities who were pagan idol worshippers who had the political power at the time, this owing to the fact that the children of Israel were only a minority. The children of Israel complained that Prophet Jesus was preaching something new and they provoked the Romans to rise against him, making the Roman governor believe that the call of Jesus conveyed direct threats against the Roman power. His own people claimed that Jesus Christ was an agitator speaking against the emperor, which was not true. The Roman governor issued an order that Prophet Jesus is arrested, then crucified by hanging him on a cross and starving him, a common form of shame killing at the time. According to the Christian narrative, which Muslims do not believe, the Roman authorities found Jesus, arrested him, then put him on the Roman cross where he died. They eventually buried him, only to see him resurrected and returned from the dead. He announced to everyone that he was the Son of God. In reality, and according to the Holy Quran, God states, And for their saying in boast, Indeed, we have killed the Messiah Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Messenger of Allah, and they did not kill him nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain, rather Allah raised him to himself, and ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. Quran 157-158 So according to the Holy Quran, they neither killed nor crucified Prophet Jesus. Rather, God placed a resemblance of Prophet Jesus on another person to make him like Jesus Christ. The Christians were differing amongst themselves as to the truth of the matter, as they themselves were in doubt and have no certainty as to what really happened. In all actuality, God rescued his Prophet by raising Prophet Jesus' soul and body up to himself. The Israelites and the Roman authorities never were able to harm him, crucify him or kill him. This version of events was only an assumption. According to some Islamic scholars, God punished Judas the traitor by casting him in resemblance to Jesus. So they crucified him instead, assuming it was Prophet Jesus. According to the New Testament, Jesus Christ returned to his followers. Whereas Christians believe that he returned from the dead, Muslims believe that he never died. His followers were terrified at his reappearance, as they thought he had been crucified. Then Prophet Jesus said, Look at my hands and my feet, it is I myself. Touch me and see, a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. Luke 24 39. Jesus then asked for food so he could eat before them like a human being would, not a spirit or a ghost. After he proved his existence, he told them God had willed him to leave, and that in his absence they should preach and teach the message and be faithful to God. He promised them finally that another would come after him. Whereas Christians believe that Prophet Jesus was referring to the Holy Spirit in the context of this statement, Muslims believe his words and truth reference the Prophet Muhammad. After the departure of Prophet Jesus, controversy sparked amongst his followers. They questioned as to whether the person who returned was really Jesus Christ and if he had really returned. A severe split erupted in the Christian faith, revealing a wide spectrum of opinions regarding Prophet Jesus and his role in the world. Prophet Jesus was a mighty messenger of God, and he was only a mortal human being. He was born from a mother, he ate and he drank, he slept and used the bathroom, he suffered pain and emotions. This differentiates him from the God the Almighty, as God does not need to eat, sleep or drink. He was only a servant and slave of God. The idea of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the concept that Jesus died for our sins is firmly rejected in Islam. O people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of God. And his word, which he directed to Mary and a soul created at command from him, so believe in Allah and his messengers and do not say three, desist, it is better for you. Indeed, Allah is but one God. 
exalted is he above having a son. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on earth. And sufficient is Allah as disposer of affairs. Quran 4, 171. God makes it clear.